Maintenance notified us that this large rock was starting to move and become loose from the slope, so we decided to bolt it in place. So what they do is go up with a drill and drill holes into the slope. It's what we call a wagon drill, and it gets um, winched up onto the slope, and um, they, so they're able to drill wherever on the rock slope they need to. The top of that slope is about 75 feet high. They're drilling holes on the order of 20 feet deep. Once the hole is drilled, they put some rebar into the hole. Uh, they grout it up and they tension the rebar in, in order to hold it onto the slope. And in this case, they're putting on seven of those rock bolts in. The rock here is about 20 feet high, 12 feet wide, and eight to nine feet thick. And if that thing were to slough off, what would the effects of that be? We think it's very likely it would end up in the road. It could punch a big hole in the road. In the ditch right before the road at the bottom there, there's also a, a large fiber optic cable. I'm not sure how deep it's buried. It could definitely affect the fiber optic cable as well. Um, if it came down uncontrolled, obviously it could be a um, hazard to the traveling public. My name is Katie Castelli and I'm the uh, Senior Engineering Geologist for the uh, Region 2 Tech Center. I helped design this rock bolt project that you're seeing behind me.